In analyzing the nun's words, one can discern a profound trust in divine intervention and providence within the realm of politics. It's an election year in the U.S. In normal times, an election is the moment when ordinary people can take back control of their nation's destiny. But these are not normal times. Across the globe, men and women are waking up to the alarming truth that governments no longer serve God or the people. And beloved, I'll uh, interrupt to say myself um, that um, if President Trump gets in, it's a complete act of God. If the Democrats, if Biden is not reelected, it is a complete act of God because every scheme and every evil is out there that he would continue to be our president as inept and evil uh, as he is. Um, uh, at least e done evil things. Um, and um, those that um, uh, surround him and advise him and even direct him, um, the devil is wise. And I, I, would not, um, I would not put it past them to do anything. I know that recently someone has made a motion that no one should um, be able to vote cannot prove U.S. citizenship. I totally agree with that. But um, there are those in the Democratic Party who do not. So we are up against not just an election, election but an absolute war for good uh, against good and evil. Within the nuns' discourse, the themes of subjectivity and accountability emerge prominently, particularly in the discourse surrounding human conduct and ethical decisions within the political sphere. Her commentary on the re-election of President Donald Trump is imbued with a firm belief in God's sovereignty over human affairs, echoing conservative principles that prioritize religious and traditional values. By framing President Trump as a champion of justice and conservative ideals, the nun articulates a narrative that pits him against malevolent forces. Her characterization of the election as a battle between good and evil underscores the moral dimensions of political choices, presenting it as a clash of conflicting ideologies. Moreover, the nuns' remarks shed light on concerns about liberal ideologies and the perceived threats posed by certain political figures. She emphasizes the necessity for vigilance and spiritual discernment in the face of moral dilemmas, urging individuals to exercise their autonomy and moral agency in shaping the political landscape. Her words resonate with conservatives who place faith, morality, and divine guidance at the forefront of their political beliefs and actions.